You are my God, I confess you. You are my God and I exalt you. I will thank you for you became my Savior. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the Feast of St. Thomas, the Apostle. We pray that through his intercession, he prays to the Lord and blesses us during this time of the epidemic. We pray that we become like him in faith, in hope, and in charity. And today also we pray for the Pope's intention for the families and for the times that we feel that is asked God's Father. I confess to Almighty God and to my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and what I fail to do. Through my fall, through my fall, through my most grievous fall. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. We thank God today. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world and mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father and mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Pray for your needs, my dear brothers and sisters. Crown Almighty God, that we may glory in the feast of the blessed Apostle Thomas, so that we may always be sustained by his intercession, and believing may have life in the name of Jesus Christ his Son whom Thomas acknowledged as the Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the following day, Peter and his companions entered Caesarea. Cornelius was expecting them, and he had called together his kinsmen and close friends. When Peter entered, Cornelius met him and fell down at his feet and worshipped him. But Jesus lifted him up, saying, Stand up, I too am a man. And as he talked with him, he went in and found many persons gathered, and he said to them, you yourselves know how unlawful it is for a Jew to associate or visit anyone of another nation. But God has shown me that I should not call any man common or unclean. So when I was sent for, I came without objection. I ask you then, why you sent for me? And Cornelius said, Four days ago, about this hour, I was keeping in the ninth hour of prayer 
in my ahos. And behold, a man stood before me in bright apparel, saying, Cornelius, your prayer has been heard, and your arm has been remembered before God. Send therefore to Joppa and ask for Simon, who is called Peter. He is lodging in the house of Simon, the tenor, by the seaside. So I have sent to you at once, and you have been kind enough to come. Now, therefore, we are all here present in the sight of God, to hear all that we have been commanded by the Lord. And Peter opened his mouth and said, Truly, I perceive that God shows no partiality, but in every nation anyone who fears him and does what is right is acceptable to him. The word of the Lord and Spirit God. Our response will be, My soul is thirsting for God, the God of my life. Our response, my soul is thirsting for God, the God of my life. Like the deer that yearns for running waters, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. Our response, my soul is thirsting for you, for God, the God of my life. My soul is thirsting for God, the God of my life. When I can I enter and see the face of God? Our response, my soul is thirsting for God, the God of my life. I would lead the rejoicing crowd into the house of God, amidst cries of gladness and thanksgiving, the throng wild with joy. Our response, my soul is thirsting for God, the God of my life. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. In these last days, God has spoken to us by a son, whom he appointed the heir of all things, through whom he also created the world. He reflects the glory of God and bears the very stem of his nature, upholding the universe by his word, when he had made purification for sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Thomas, one of the twelve, called the twin, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see in his hands the print of the nails, and place my finger in the mark of the nails, and place my hand in his side, I will not believe. Eight days later, his disciples were again in the house. Thomas was with them. The doors were shut, and Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. And he said to Thomas, Put your finger here, and see my hands, and put out your hand and place it in my sight. Do not be faithless, but believe. Thomas answered, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen yet believe. Gospel of the Lord. 
Praise be to Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, today we'll have for our refraction the Thomas who believed in Jesus. You see in the life of Thomas, you see him accompanying Jesus when Jesus went to visit Martha and Mary as their brother had died. And people were frightened of the Jews. And Jesus had the courage to go and visit them. And in spite of being frightened of the Jews, Thomas was there who said, I am coming, Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, there are so many of us who will accompany us when we face opposition, when we face troubles, when we cannot face opposition, there will be someone who will come and say, I am holding your hand, take courage. The second thing that I would like to reflect in the Gospel today is the loneliness of Thomas. The Gospel tells, was not with them when Jesus came. We don't know what was in his mind. He must have been troubled. And that made him lonely. That isolated him. Where do we find Jesus? We find Jesus in a community. And then we see, eight days later, that his disciples were again in the house and Thomas was with them. The community of faith, the community of life, the family, the doors were shut, but Jesus came and stood among them. He stood in the family. My dear brothers and sisters, let us live in a community. And Jesus has said, the two and three are gathered in my name, I am there. Sometimes we have so much trouble, we have our own crosses, our worries, our anxieties, that we isolate ourselves and we become depressed. We need someone to give us that warmth. And that's the life that you get in a community. Today's first reading says, And does what is right is acceptable to him. And does what is right is acceptable to him. So let us never abandon our communities. It is there where we find strength. It is there where we find faith, hope and charity. Today's uh, intentions of the Pope is that we pray for families. that we respect them, that we, their families have guidance, and they live in truth. So let us pray for our families today, that our families may grow like Thomas in a community, and accept him as our Savior. Thomas answered, my Lord and my God. 
So Jesus becomes our Lord. You know? I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under the Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let's know you love God, all creation, very goodness we have this bread to offer, which it has given and human hands have made, it will become the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, by goodness have we this wine to offer. Fruit of the wine and milk of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept his sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of his holy church. We render you, Lord, the service that is your due, humbly imploring you to keep safe your gifts in us. And we honor the confession of the Apostle St. Thomas and offer you a sacrifice of praise. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God, which is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock. But through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those we have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so, with your angels and archangels, with the throne and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we are. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is you who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the Father of all holiness. Make holy therefore this case we pray by sending down the Spirit upon them like a dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus. At the time he was betrayed and entered the willing with his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <coughs> the mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as you celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have had this worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread out throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of cha charity together with Francis our Pope, Philip our Bishop, and all our clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Pray for all those who have died today. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, her spouse, Saint Joseph, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the serious command and formed by his teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your word, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word, and my soul shall be healed.
Bring your hand and fill the place of my nails and do not be unbelieving but believing. The prayer of St. Thomas Aquinas. You can join me in silence. Almighty and eternal God, behold, I come to the sacrament of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. As one sick to the physician of life, as one unclean to the fountain of mercy, as one blind to the light of eternal blindness, as one poor and needy to the Lord of heaven and earth, I ask therefore for the abundance of your immense generosity, that you may graciously cure my sickness wash my defilement, give light to my blindness, and reach my poverty, clothe my nakedness, so that I may receive the bread of the angels, the King of kings, Lord of lords, with such reverence and humility, such contrition and devotion, such purity and faith, such purpose and intentions as are conducive to the salvation of my soul. Grant that I, I pray that I may receive not only the sacrament of the Lord's body and blood, but also the reality and the power of that sacrament. O most gentle God, Grant that I may so receive the body of your own begotten, our Lord Jesus Christ, which he took from the Virgin Mary, that I may be made worthy to be incorporated into the mystical body and to be counted among its members. O most loving Father, grant that I may at last gaze forever upon the unveiled face of your beloved Son, who I, a wayfarer, propose to receive now and wear under his pieces, who lives and reigns with you forever. As we truly receive in the sacrament the body of your only begotten Son, grant we pray that we may recognize with the Apostle Thomas by faith as our Lord and our God, and proclaim him by our deeds and by our life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.